Hey guys, this is Dave with My Freedom Smokes. Today I'm here to talk to you about a new RDA we got in from Digiflavor. Uh, it's called the ETNA. Um, it's designed in Italy. I apologize, I'm not even going to try to pronounce those names because I don't want to mispronounce uh, these names here. It's two Italian names. We'll put them up here on the screen for you guys to read them out. I still want to try to butcher somebody's name. I think that's a little disrespectful. So uh, we'll just talk about the, uh, the RDA here. This RDA is a mouth to lung style RDA, single coil uh, going on in there. Um, what's also cool is instead of just using your regular mouth along with your regular juices, you can actually throw your salts in here because you can build a tight enough draw and run at low enough power that you can run salts easily. I'm using a 25 milligram salt sample I have here. Um, the way the airflow is done here is pretty cool. There's actually a huge grub screw that goes into a little airflow deck or airflow base right under where you build your coil. Um, by adjusting the airflow you actually can adjust your or adjusting that screw you can adjust your airflow and there's also other airflow bases um, in the actual box here i'll show you those and you kind of play around with them and get different different airflows and get it real tight or a little looser it's still going to be in a mouth to lung you're not going to get some some direct lung hits with this really um, the deck itself just uses two flathead screw um, grub screws on there and then it's just two separate posts they're all it's all set on the one side so float your coil right in the center. Um, you can actually squonk with this. That's pretty cool and kind of uh, kind of weird to hear uh, you'd be squonking a Nick Salt device. But um, you can actually do that with this. Uh, it's a real tiny little RDA too. I want to say between 19 and 20 millimeters on the size because the beauty ring itself is 22. So this will fit really good on like your smaller eye sticks and some of the smaller little devices you may be wanting to use for your mouth to lung and stuff if you don't want to carry around a big box. Um, and it still looks good with that beauty ring here on the V-Mate. Um, drip tip does have some uh, fins to it to help cool it off and it's kind of a plastic top to it. Uh, the beauty ring is also kind of a plastic to help keep everything cool with it being so small. Then again, you're only running, uh, see I'm running 0.91 watts on the particular coil. Um, once we get into the box, I'll show you they do have different coils and, and I'll show you those airflow blocks. It gives a real tight draw. Um, I know a lot of mouth to lung people want that real tight draw and this is a perfectly tight draw. And I've even opened up the airflow just a bit and I'm still getting pretty tight. All right, so we'll show you some of the extras in the box here real quick. Um, once you open the box, at first you do see the RDA and your extra drip tip is here. It's in the box that kept falling out when I was messing around with the box. We'll take that out. They give you three of these little wicks, the ones that kind of have the, uh, actually it looks like maybe, it's four technically. I just was counting the little lines on where they got the plastic on the end, the ones that pull through the coils nice and easy. Um, they're actually got that plastic on either end and I just cut one and a half when I wick this. So you can actually get two of these but can be made into four, at least four coils. Um, so there it is, there's the one I didn't cut. It still has both ends. And then here's the one I did. It still seemed a little tight in that little coil I put in there. I end up peeling a little bit of that cotton off of there. Let's see, you also get your user manual, a little DigiFlavor user manual. Let me give you a little envelope here that does have some information in it. Let's see, a little warning card. Let's see, warranty information and just a little, little tiny little promotional card that shows the ETNA and then some of the different color options on the back. Kind of cool looking background with some magma, lava rocks on there. <clears throat> you got your three-way tool. You got two Allen, I mean, two Phillips heads. Or one Phillips head, two flatheads. I'll get that out eventually. Two flatheads, one Phillips head on your T-tool. They also give you a large Allen key that is for adjusting your airflow and actually removing that screw fully to take that block off. And there's an extra drip tip that wasn't a top insert there. Kind of a smoky see-through. Little 510 drip tip. And here's your bag with all the goodies. You got your extra O-rings, you got your extra airflow screw. Uh, squonk pin was pre-installed, but I put the regular 510 pin on. And you get your two extra airflow blocks. Now the one that's in there from the factory has two holes in it. Let's pull these other ones out real quick. All right, and these little things do have a little bit of a dovetail to them, so they do slide right into the build deck right up under your coils. Uh, this one's got one single hole, and then the other one 
has three little holes and the one in there has two. So you got one, two, or three holes. And those measurements, I believe, are listed on here. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go to airflow modules. The one with three, they're all uh, 0.8 millimeters. The two, you get 2.8 millimeter holes, and the one is one 1.2 millimeter hole. So that's going to be your bigger airflow hole. And what that does, you can get more restricted airflow. You can have your airflow hitting your coil at different angles and stuff like that by how many different holes you have on there. Um, so you can really customize this and get a better vaping experience if you want it a little tighter, a little, a little more loose. Like I said, it's not going to be super loose. Don't expect big direct lung hits with it. Um, but you still definitely get everything customized properly. And here's your little baggie of coils. Um, you get three different styles of coils. There's tiny little Clapton coils and a couple little spaced uh, single style coils. Actually, the single one, the regular single strands almost look like it might be the same three, or same four of them. You get four of those and then two uh, Claptons. But um, I just use one of the little single strand space coil and that's what I have in here now. And like I said, it's reading a 0.1, a 0.91, vaping at only 7.5 watts. So let's have another vape on it real quick. <coughs> I don't do salts a whole lot, so they do choke me up a little bit sometimes. Um, especially, I'm not used to having, I might have to go down a little bit more on the power even open the airflow up some. I'm used to big wide open airflow so when I do restricted uh, mouth to lung hits sometimes I do get a little choked up. But uh, that's pretty much it for the ETNA from DigiFlavor. If you have any questions about this RDA please leave them in the comments below. As always, I'm David with My Freedom Smokes and thanks for vaping.